Greetings and welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I am your host, Chaos, as always. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, today we got a very special treat. Um, something that we are going to start doing on the channel. We're going to try this out, see how well it goes. Um, I am going to basically do a uh, short tutorial on a board game. Uh, and then actually show you a video of me, uh, myself, Grim, and Spartan uh, playing this game. And um, basically, at the end of this video, I'm going to give this away. So, for anybody that's interested in it, you can win a free game. Free of charge, I'll ship it out. I'll, after the, the winner is selected, uh, I will get in contact with you, uh, get your shipping information. I will ship it out free of charge. All you got to do is hit me with a comment below. If you've played the game, you haven't played the game, you like the game, what you did like about it, what you didn't like about it, anything you want related with that board game, or if you're just interested in it, be like, hey, hi, I'm interested in the game. That's it. Not going to require anything else out of you beyond that. So um, the first game we're going to do is, there we go, Spoils of War. So this board game is a kind of a bluffing poker. Um, if you have seen, uh, what was it? Dead Man's Dice, I believe is what it's called in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, so this game is pretty much exactly that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to crack this bad boy open. And let me go and get a of the camera view up here so you guys can aha uh -huh, there we go all right so this is what you guys could get for free all right so it comes with i'll kind of go through just breaking it so it comes with the instruction manual here uh, it has rule sets for um, if you have up to five players with this single box. Um, if you wanted more players, you can actually buy a second box, add it to this one, and then you can do up to like 10 players. But um, as it is with three players, there are specific rules on what cards you need to take out. Um, and I will, you know what, we'll go through just real quick. Um, I believe so if you're only doing a three-player game there are three items the traders dagger Norn orb N O R N orb and Heimdall's spyglass um, because of the effects that they have you basically pull those out of the decks and then from there what you end up doing is so each player is gonna get one of these handy dandy hiding screens there you go uh, let me see mm. there we go so you get one of these handy dandy little hiding screens so each player has one of those uh, then each player will get a cup Ugh. little cup and basically what you do is you're gonna shake up the dice and then you're going to flip it over. And once you flip it over, then you're going to be able to look at how many of what you have. Uh, you're essentially going to bet on the dice uh, that you have compared to everybody else. So I'm going to bet, you know, I'm going to bet that there are four fives. And then the next person gets to bet. And then the next person gets to bet. And then once it gets to a point where somebody bets and then the next person in line, instead of betting is going to say, I challenge your bet. So you get, you know, the person that is the challenger and then you get to the player that is the defender. Uh, and then anybody else is going to bet on who they think is correct, the challenger or the defender. And then once you go and everybody has bet what they're going to bet, then you basically, everybody lifts up their cup and find out who's correct. Those that win get to pick from a set of 
uh, treasure cards to pick whatever treasures they want. And then the losers have to basically pay their money into the bank, uh, the, 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 you know, the neutral bank, and they lose that money. The people that win get to keep their gold to be used later on. So, not bad. Not bad. It's a fun game. Um, we played it and had a ball with it. It was very fun, uh, very interesting. Um, I believe the one that is... I think it's Dead Man's Dice is what I want to say. I could be very wrong. If I'm wrong on that, put that in the comment. Um, and then I'll count that as your entry. Uh, <laughs> just to make it easy. Um, if I am wrong on that, I think it was Dead Man's Dice. is what they called it in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, if it's not, correct me. And uh, you might win this for free. Hey, can't, get, can't go wrong with that. So, basically, I will... Um, I guess I could just do a quick run through with the rules and the setup and the bidding and everything real quick uh, just to give you guys kind of a um, quick breakdown on this and then I'm gonna let you guys get to the video check out the video and then like I said um, I'll give it a couple of weeks pick a winner for this and then uh, I'll get you info ship it out to you and then you can enjoy and have fun like we did. It, we had a ball. It was great, fun time. So let's uh, let me go through this real quick. So what you've got, you have level one treasure cards. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Can't see it very well. Okay. There we go. Uh, these are level one treasure cards. Um, so what it is is there are, I believe five different categories so there is armor actually here you know what we're gonna we're gonna slide this down right over here there we go and I'll just use you guys over here all right so there is armor that's one type and then there are artifacts so these artifacts have special abilities, special capabilities. Here, let's get a let's get a little light on that. There we go. So we've got those. And then there are weapons. And then there's also a, a gold amount in this bottom right corner. That will be um, that'll be part of the um, uh, win result at the end of the game. Um, then there is jewelry. So you get different jewelry. And then there are dragon eggs. So those are the five different categories. So basically, uh, one of the things you want to do is, well, here, we'll just go step by step. We'll, we'll just go step by step with it. So, uh, Step one, give each Viking a dice cup, a screen, and a betting disc. So, the betting disc are these. These are Declare and Challenger. So, basically, once it gets to a point and they're flipped over. So, each person gets one of these. Um, and then, whenever it hits a point where... Like, let's say the person ahead of me bets five fives, and I'm going to say, well, I challenge. So I'm going to put up challenger in front of me. They're going to put up declare in front of themselves. So they're going to be the declare. I'm going to be the challenge. So I'll have challenge up. They have declare up. And then each other player. So let's say we have three more players because we have five tokens, we have five players available with this box. Let's say that there are three other players, two of them are gonna go with the person that made the last bet. One of them is gonna go and agree with me as the challenger. So they're gonna put these up in front of themselves. So that's what the, 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 the discs are for. Uh, the owner of the game becomes the first Viking chief. Viking Chief, you get this big monstrous Viking Chief token. So 
I'm the owner of the game currently. Uh, you guys may be the owner of this game next. So, uh, just a heads up. That's something to keep in mind. So, you're going to get the Viking Chief. So, I would be the Viking Chief. There would be four other players. Uh, owner of the game becomes the first Viking Chief and takes the Viking Chief marker. The Viking Chief manages the treasure piles and has a few advantages. Each Viking number... Uh, give each Viking uh, a number of dice depending on the number of Vikings. So... Big bag of D6s. Yes. Big bag of D6s there. All right. So for a three-player game, each player gets 10. For a four-player game, uh, each person gets eight. For a five-player game, each Viking gets six dice. Now that will not use up, even in that case. There's more dice because there's a possibility. Well, let me make sure there's uh, six there. So let's say we're doing a five-player game. So it's going to be five people get six dice. So there's six. There's 12. There is 18. Mm -hmm. There's 24. And there is 30 dice. So there's a total of 34. Five dice, I believe, that come with this game. Let me make sure. Because I believe that should be all the dice there is. There's nothing left in the box. Yeah, no. So, because there is a possibility um, that there are artifact cards and things that will let you, will allow you to roll an extra die, or you can add two more die to your roll, you can change a roll. There's a lot of really cool artifacts in here that make it really, really interesting to play this game. So, uh, 35 dice. So, we'll make sure I get all this back in the bag. So that way. All right. So, there goes your bag of dice for whoever's gonna win this game. All right, each Viking gets a number of dice depending on the Vikings. Choose one Viking to be the purser or the banker uh, for the entire game. The purser handles all of the money and gives each Viking 70 gold to start with as follows. Uh, you get five one gold pieces. So there is the little one gold pieces right there. So you get five one gold pieces, seven five gold pieces. So you get seven five gold pieces. And then you get three of the ten gold pieces. Which at any point you can always talk to the purser. Hey, I want to break a ten, get two fives. I want to break a ten, get a five and five ones. Whatever you need to do. But the purser is going to be the one to take care of that. Vikings should keep their gold behind their screen, hidden from their opponents. The remaining gold stays in the treasury next to the purser. During the game, at any time, you may request the purser to make change for make change for you from the treasury. For example, you give the purser a five gold coin, request five ones. There you go. Uh, set up the treasure piles. Uh, the Viking Chief divides treasure piles into nine equal sized treasure piles following these steps. Each treasure card has a stage number. So basically, this game has nine rounds. After nine rounds, that's the end. No more. So you have the rank ones. So what you're going to end up doing, and I'll just read through this. Uh, so you've got the rank one treasure cards. Then you have the stage two treasure cards. And then you have the stage three. Stage three treasure cards. So you've got all three stages there. One, two, three. Uh, each treasure card has a stage number on the back. One, two, or three. Separate the treasure cards into three decks according to their stage numbers. 
So. Uh, so the next part, shuffle each stage, de stage deck separately and place them face down. Uh, so on that, the, um, remember that artifact cards have a special icon on their back, uh, but they are still shuffled with the other cards from that stage. So the ones that are artifacts have the little blue icon in the corner. So that lets you know that those are artifact cards. Um, this one's the Singing Leer. And it is worth three gold, as you can see in that bottom corner there. So that is how you do that. All right. Uh, from each stage, count out. Uh, so basically, you're going to shuffle the whole stack of treasures. So shuffle them up. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Then, from each stage, count out three treasure piles of cards, each with the number of treasure cards shown on the following table. So, what you're going to do for the number of Vikings, uh, there's going you're going to make three piles. Each pile for a, well, we're going to do 11. We have, uh, we're going to say a five-player game. So, I'm going to make three piles of 11 randomized cards. So, count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's going to be the first one. So what you're going to do is, middle of the table, you're going to take these, scoop these up, you're going to take these and set them out in front of you. So basically, we'll just make, so you're going to have 1, 2, and Three. So you're going to have three piles of stage one treasure cards. The extra, just throw back in the box. And then you're going to do the same. And the Viking Chief is the one that's dealing with this. So I'll play as I'm the, the Viking Chief. I'm going to have three stacks of stage two treasures. And just a couple of quick cards. Boom. So this lets you know where you are in the game because as i mentioned earlier there's nine rounds to the game and then you total up your gold and your value on everything and the highest person wins so put the rest back in the box and then the same thing for the threes so you're going to have one two three piles for a five player game of 11 cards three player it's seven four player it's nine five player 11. there you go so you have nine piles or nine rounds of treasure to win before the end of the game. And you can steal treasure. You can trade treasures uh, with artifact cards. There's a lot of different stuff that can go on. All right. Uh, for example, in a four-player Viking game, each pile will have nine cards. Keep the treasure piles face down. Place any remaining cards back in the box without revealing them. They are removed from the game. Place the treasure piles in a line so you have nine piles, three for each stage, starting with stage one and ending with stage three. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're going to have three piles of stage one cards, three piles of stage two, two cards, and then three piles of stage three. All right. So, Spoils of War is played over the course of nine rounds. During each round, the Vikings roll dice, make declarations about their dice rolls, place bets, then divide the treasure based on how many or how well they bet. After nine rounds, the Viking with the most gold and treasure stash wins. All right, each round is split into seven steps. And to make it easy, they were very thoughtful and put the different stages on the back of the little card that you're going to have in front of you hiding everything. So there's also some uh, other information, a conqueror's horde, you know, basically some sets on how to get extra points depending on your treasure. Uh, we'll go over that in just a second. So, yeah, on the back, step one is treasure setup. 
whoever is the Viking chief is going to set up the treasure piles. Viking chief, you set up the treasure. So, we'll go through them. Step one, treasure set up. Uh, Vikings love treasure. But it wouldn't be much fun to bid on all the treasure at once. Instead, each round, only one treasure pile is available for Vikings to split. Uh, the Viking chief takes uh takes next treasure takes the next treasure pile and spreads them out on the table so everyone can see them this is called the active treasure pile so round one you're going to take the first stack of round one cards you're going to take the first stack of round one treasure cards and you are going to sort through them while they have not been revealed anything that's an artifact you're going to sit face down in front, like in the middle of the table in front of everybody. You're going to set it face down. So any artifacts, you find those. There was only one in this stack. So you set it face down, face down on the table. The rest of them get flipped face up. So uh, spreads them on the table so everyone can see them. This is called the active treasure pile. For convenience, keep treasures of the same type together. So you'll sort it out. Anything armor, you're going to sort those and, and kind of group those together. Dragon eggs, you group together. Weapons, jewelry. Depending on what is in the treasure pile there, you're going to put these face up, but you're going to group them. So jewelry is going to go all together. And then the armor is going to go all together. Weapons are going to go all together. And then if you have any dragon eggs. So, uh, there we go. I'm gonna say, oh, there we go. I knew there was one. All right. So, you will group these together. And you can spread them out so everybody can see the picture because there is reason to get so for every weapon type there's four different weapons each dragon egg there's four different dragon eggs same thing for jewelry same thing for armor so for this one we've got for jewelry it actually worked out so for the jewelry stack here we actually have one of each type almost of the jewelry so there's the crown, the armband, and the ring. Ta da! So those are three. So you have, there's two crowns, one armband, one ring. So you're going to put them all face up so everybody can see them. Uh, these, um, most of them are worth two, but there's one item that's worth three, as you can see there, bottom, bottom corner. So. There's a lot of strategy to, if you win and you get treasures, there's a lot of strategy to which treasures you want to take. So, uh, on the first round of the game, he will take the tre first treasure pile for stage one on the far left. And that's, you know, left to right. Uh, on the far left, on each successive round, he takes the next treasure pile in line. On the ninth round, he will take the ninth treasure pile a stage three treasure on the far right and that'll be the last round uh, all normal treasures are turned face up so Vikings can see what they are but the artifacts are placed face down so none of the Vikings uh, know what they are so pretty simple so uh, step two, roll dice. All Vikings roll their dice at the same time. Try not to let the other Vikings see your dice. You can use your dice cup to cover and hide the dice of your roll after you roll them. Uh, let's see, there's a note. During the game, some artifacts may enable you to roll more dice. Also, during this step, some artifacts may allow you to re-roll your dice, add an extra die, different things. Uh, now the Vikings test their wits. Oh, and I got an artifact card right there in front of me. Uh, now the Vikings test their wits and bluffing skill by trying to guess how many dice 
for each value are in play, and this is between all players, uh, including the dice hidden by the other Vikings. This takes guts, because you only know what's on the dice under your cup. Uh, the Viking chief now chooses which Viking must make the first bid. He may choose himself if he wishes. So the Viking chief, these were some of the advantages that Ed had mentioned, is the Viking chief picks who makes the first bid. Uh, the chosen Viking makes the first bid. He must announce out loud a quantity of dice and a value of dice that he believes are in play, counting all of the dice for all Vikings in the game. Uh, in other words, you're not bidding only on the dice under your own cup. You must consider and bid on all of, di all of the dice under all the Vikings' cups. Uh, all right, and it's got an example there. I'm not going to read through that. Viking to the left of the first bidder now must either bid higher or challenge that bid. Challenge. When, when you challenge, you are claiming that there is no way there are that many dice of that value in play. When you give a challenge, you become the challenger. And that's where these tokens come into play. You become the challenger. Then the person that you're challenging becomes the declare because they declared the last bet. All right. And the Viking to your right who made the last bid becomes the declarer. Uh, the bidding step ends as soon as any Viking challenges. So as soon as that challenge is done. Uh, step four: Placing bets. Once a challenger has been, once a challenge has been made, every Viking must secretly and simultaneously play a bet. Once a challenge has been, oh no, nope, play a bet, place a bet. <laughs> um, take your betting disc, place it with the side you think is correct facing up. So after, let's say, player one makes a challenge against player five. Then five becomes the declare, I become the challenge. The other three will pick who they agree with. I'm the challenger, if they agree with me, they're gonna set their tokens to challenge because they think that I am correct. If they think it's the declare, then the declarer will become the one that they, they flip up to say they agree with. All right, take your betting disc, place it with the side you think is correct, facing upwards, blue for declare, red for challenger. Of course, the declare and the challenger are already locked in. They must bet on their own side. Then decide how, many, uh, how much of your gold you want to risk and place it on top of your betting disc. Uh, you'll see in the video, we kind of just hold it in our hand. We just kind of, we have the dice in our hand, we're holding our hand out, and we just flip and display it. So some people, you know, you can do it differently, but that's how we handled it. Um, you must bet at least five gold. So yeah, every time you bet, you got to bet at least five gold. Uh, that's your ante. So you always have a little skin in the game. Your maximum bet is the amount of bet, amount of gold you have left. So let's say I've got 50 gold and I'm betting 50 gold on this one. I can, you know, basically hold that 50 gold, bet that 50 gold. If I lose, I lose every bit of it. Uh, make sure the other Vikings can't see your bet. Cover your betting disc and gold with your hand. When you're ready, use your Viking screen to conceal your remaining gold uh, so that the other Vikings cannot see how much gold you have left. After a dramatic pause. Okay. Uh, all Vikings simultaneously reveal their bets by lifting their hands off of their betting discs. Uh, this can be a terrible surprise for some Vikings uh, when they find out most of the other Vikings are betting against them. So, uh, now that this moment of tr now is the moment of truth, which Viking is correct, the declarer or the challenger? Starting with the declarer and going clockwise. Uh, the table uh, going clockwise around the table. Each Viking lifts their dice cup to show their dice for all to see. All of the dice are compared to the Claire's bid. So let's say 
there's 30 dice that are out. And I'm going to say there are 10 uh, ones. If the person that challenges me, if there is 10 or more, it has to be at least that number. So if I declare, if I bid, if there's going to be 10 ones, there has to be at least 10 ones or more. If there's less than 10 ones, I as the declarer and everybody that agreed with me loses. The challenger and anybody that agreed with the challenger wins. Uh, so, da, 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 da. starting with the declarer going clockwise around the table, all the dice, um, all the dice are compared to the declarer's bid. If there are at least as many dice of the value bid, then the declare and everyone who bet on their side wins. If there are fewer dice of the value bid, then the challenger and everyone who bet on that challenger sides wins. So, it's got some examples. You can use those. Uh, we'll play it out in the video as well. All right. First, each Viking on the losing side gives up the gold on their on their betting disc to the purser, uh, who places it in the treasury. The winners keep their gold on their disc, so the winners get to keep their gold. So, going down though, next the Viking on the winning side who bet the most gold becomes the new Viking chief. So whoever bet the most. It can still be the same person that already currently has it if they won, or if not. Um, but the person who bet the most gold becomes the new Viking chief and takes the Viking chief marker. So, that Viking chief has to follow the treasure and everything else that comes along with the uh, Viking chief token. Uh, if more than one Viking bet the most gold, the one who is closest to the winning challenger or declarer going clockwise becomes a new chief. So basically if the if there are two winners, then the closest one going clockwise. So let's say I'm the Viking chief. There's one, two, three, four of the people. Let's say the two here, you know, Player, I'm player one, let's say player four and five are the ones that won, and they bet the same amount. Player four is going to be the one that gets it, because if you go, you know, clockwise around. So player four is going to be the one that will receive the Viking Chief token. Uh, ta -ta -ta, going clockwise. Now, each Viking on the winning side gets to take treasures from the active treasure pile. Of course, the losing side gets nada. Uh, in order from highest to lowest bet, so the person that bet the highest gets to pick first. Uh, they, let's see, gets to pick, uh, followed by the next highest better, and so on. Uh, if other Vikings tie... The one closest to the Viking chief going clockwise gets to pick first. Uh, the treasures you take are placed on the table in front of you. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Viking chief gets to take three treasures. Uh, the other winning Vikings get two treasures each. When it's your turn to choose treasures, you must take all treasures you are entitled to take. Uh, the Viking Chief oversees the division of the spoils to ensure that each Viking takes all of their treasures in the correct order. Uh, the treasures you take are placed on the table in front of you in your stash. So, one thing as well is the ones with the artifacts, leave those face down. Because they either have a one-time activate ability. So, like right here as you can see. That's a 1x. It works one time. Then, there are those artifacts. Let me find one here. Oh, come on. There's got to be one in here. Oh, oh. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not in level 3. All right, let me find one. Hang on. There we go. 
All right. So the Lucky Dragon Tooth, instead of having a red 1X, has a green circle, which is a continuous effect. The red 1X works one time. The ones that have the green, as you can see, the green uh, arrow, which it actually looks like a, oh, it's the world dragon eating its own tail. Huh. So, that icon, the green one, means that it's a continuous effect. So like this one, uh, each dice, each roll dice step, whenever you go to roll dice, you may re-roll up to two dice. So, it's a nice benefit. All right. Uh, you can choose, let's see here, uh, then take back gold that you were betting to show you have finished taking your treasures. Place it in your remaining gold to be used again in later rounds. You can choose face-up treasures or take a chance on a face-down artifact. Uh, if you take the artifact, look at the card, place it face-down in your stash so other Vikings don't know what you have. You can always look at your own artifacts at any time. Uh, after all winning Vikings take their treasures, the remaining treasures are placed face-down in the leftover treasure pile and then you go and do the next round. So you basically just do that nine times. Everybody bets, winners get treasure, losers get nothing. Uh, and then once it comes to the end of the last round, after the spoils have been divided, the round ends. If there are any treasure piles left to claim, the new Viking chief begins the next round with that treasure step, treasure setup step. If all the treasure piles are gone, the game ends. At the end of the game, there is a little bit more. So you're going to have all kinds of treasures face up in front of you. While you're going through the game, there's a few things to keep in mind. Is if you have one of each type, you've got an artifact, jewelry, an armor, an egg, and a weapon. Basically kind of like a straight. So not only are they worth the amount in the bottom corner, but if I have this setup where I've got one of each type, I will get an extra eight gold for these guys. So I get what's in the corner. If I have one of each type, I get eight. So let's say these five cards give me one horde. If I've got another five beyond this, I've got another five. For whatever reason, I've got that much treasure. I've got another five. That gives me another eight. So that would be 16 between these two piles. Then you also have partial sets. So for the partial sets, let's say I've got jewelry-wise. I've got a crown. I've got a ring. I've got the armband. So this, there's four different types. These would give me a partial set, would be worth six gold. But if I add in the last, so I've got one of every type, that would give me 12 gold as a complete set. So, and then there's some extra rules as far as, you know, you can count... Uh, so let's say I've got a partial set here, but I also have, let's say, I also have almost a full set on the Conqueror's Horde. So I've got these four, but I need a jewelry. But I also have the partial set of three jewelers. I can count one card here towards that. So at that point, I would get, let's say, nope. I've got partial set here. 
and then a Conqueror's Horde here, this one card would make a partial and this. So essentially I would get six gold plus eight gold because it would basically work both ways. But you cannot have, okay, I've got this partial set and then I've got another partial set if I take the crown and add it to both. No, it only counts towards one of the partials. But between like the Conqueror's Horde and the partial, I can do that. But I can't do, okay, I've got, you know, a, cra a, a crown and an armband and then, or yeah, crown, the armband, and then the pendant. And then I've got a second set of armband crown. I can't be like, hey, I've got a partial set and a partial set. It only counts towards one of the two on that instance. So, um, but you'll see, uh, we actually do uh, kind of go over some of that. That actually takes place in the game that we played. So, hopefully, that will, uh, that gives you guys kind of a quick rundown on how the game plays. It's very fun. It's very easy. Uh, we got into it. Um, it takes a little bit of, um, a little bit of a poker face, a little bit of a betting knowledge and, you know, kind of calling people's bluffs and, oh, we had so much fun. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you guys get to watching this video. Check it out. Uh, again, throw me a comment below and anybody that does, you're going to get this puppy free of charge. I'll take care of the shipping and everything there. Um, just happy to give this away uh, it, to anybody that is interested in it. So uh, check out this video. Give me a like hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you get notified when we do up some more videos. I have another board game uh, that we are going to do a tutorial on as well, and then I'll give that one away. But this is the first one we're gonna see uh, about making this um, kind of a monthly occurrence, maybe twice a month I can give away some free games to you guys, um, give back to any of the viewers and the communities out there. So I do appreciate you all joining me. This is Spoils of War. Very fun game. Love it. Had a, had a ball with it. It was fun. Uh, would definitely use this on like a party night or something. But I thought it would be better to give it away to you guys to enjoy at home. Uh, so that way, you know, you can have the kind of fun that we had. We had a ball with it. You'll see here shortly. Other than that, y'all take it easy. Have a good one. Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Chaos, Chaotic Beagle, signing out of here. I'm going to send you guys over to the video. Go check it out. The spoils of war. All right. So, we're trying to do accents and shit, dude. It's not bad. <laughs> I can do what I want. Okay. Oh, oh, because this is each roll, right? Yeah. So this is round one. These are the items that are available. Now, is this the gold amount that's on them? Yes. At the bottom, how much they're worth? Okay. Yep. <laughs> so that's what's available no artifacts in the very first round okay there's uh two jewelry three one, weapons, armor. one armor uh, <laughs> one, one and dragon, dragon. okay hmm. so who bids first you uh, uh, actually, choose I choose <clears throat> first. Okay. So we'll go with the biggest bullshitter first. <laughs> Four sixes. Mm. <clears throat> you really think he's the biggest bullshitter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say... Four sixes. I'm going to say... Five fours. I'm going to go seven fours. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go twelve fours. Yeah. Mm, I challenge that. 
So then I choose uh, which yeah, way I want to go? Yeah, you choose who you think is correct. So I say he's lying. And you said 12 fours, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So you got to pick which side you want to go with. And then make... Do I then... declare that before we bet? Well, yeah, you just declare. Okay. So you I either secretly, challenge or declare. You secretly choose and we all secretly bet. Okay. Oh. But I, I'm... I you're going to be the declare. And you have to bet top. at least yeah. five. Is that what it is? At least five. At least five. So he's going for 12 fours. Do you have to bet? Mm -hmm. Yes. You have to at, bet least at least five. five gold. That way there's always some skin in the game is how they actually mm -hmm. said it in the rules. Some at least you've skin. always got some skin in the game. Okay. Uh, reveal bet. Okay. All right. Everybody's got it? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll put a 10 down. I'll put a 5. All right. Everybody's challenged me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you reveal dice. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now we reveal. So I've got two fours. I've got one four. I've got three fours. So you were wrong. I was wrong. We were correct. Mm -hmm. I bet 10. So you actually would get so, the three. I yeah. would get the two. He would get none. I'm yes. sorry. I had three fours. But three. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. So, yep. So, so we keep our gold. Keep ours. You. That goes to the bank. Yep. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. Uh, and okay. so I bet higher. So I'll be the chief. Yep. I get to pick three treasure items. And I get to pick two. And then yes. the rest get discarded. Right? Yep. I would get a set to start, because there's a set out there. Yeah, there's already a set out there. Yeah, a treasure set, yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm there's gonna, no artifacts, so... I'm so. going to go with these. So these stay face up in front of me. Okay. Because somebody can possibly steal mm -hmm. them. Ooh. There's, there's artifacts that let you steal, artifacts, with all, okay. all kinds of stuff. Um, Then I get two, so I'm going to go ahead and take a pendant, and I'll take the egg. All right, Whoop. and then these go away. Oh, actually, so they won't go fully away, away. They just, just go, let's say, off to the side Why, because we can go because, after them later or something? Yeah, there's artifacts that may let you search through the, the leftover spot. Okay. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right. So then we go Shuffle again, Shuffle up right? and deal. Oh, do you want to put the oh, treasures yes. out? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Treasure set up is the first step. Yep. Well, since this is my rolling spot, I'll actually put mine here. Just just, so this is actually kind of dope. Yeah. I like this. All right. Ooh. First artifact. Oh, we got an artifact. Let's see what it does. Uh, when a Viking oh, makes a actually, dice good. they go face down. My bad. Artifacts go face down? Yeah. They go face down so you don't know. Ah, well, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that part. So. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there's two artifacts up. Mm -hmm. And you go for the roll. No, uh, you lost the die. Nope, oh, I lost double. Mm. All right. So you pick who goes first, right? Yes, we'll let you go first this time, Spartanian. I'll go four twos. Hmm. You can also just up him on like four threes. Yeah. You can just up him either value or number. Yep. Uh, I'll go. But yeah, you have to up one or the other. Yep. But the, yeah, you can't. You can't go like once you hit twos, you can't bet four ones. You have to go five ones. Mm -hmm. I bet yeah. six fours. Hmm. That's a high jump there. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to go seven ones. You know what? I'll go eight ones. Oh. So you can challenge him. Mm. You 
going eight ones. Mm-hmm. I'm going nine ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> bullshit a bullshitter. Mm. Ten ones. You got to think more about it than I would in liar dice. Because you only have five dice in the liar pool, dice. Yeah, it's a the pool, pool smaller. The, the, yeah. Yeah. So as you have more players, there's less dice mm -hmm. per person. I did bullshit somebody. I'm like, I said I had four ones, and I swear to God, I stared him down the whole time. He, he's like, uh, no, he's like, I believe you. And I was completely <laughs> bullshitting. <laughs> uh, and I won the game. Damn. So the bid's uh, nine ones. Nine ones. No, you said ten ones. Oh, yeah, oh, he said Sorry, nine you said nine, he said ten. Ten, ten That's ones, right. my, bad. my bad. He said nine, I said ten. Okay. Ten ones. I'm actually going to challenge that. Oh. And I get to decide. Mm-hmm. Yep. You get to pick which way you go. All right. All right. Ready? Ready? Show. Ooh. Challenge. He went 11. He went 20. He wants the artifacts. Ooh. He's desperate. Yeah. So reveal. Yep. Reveal. I have two ones. I have two ones. ones. That doesn't sound like uh, nope. Ted Woods to be. Nope. Nope. So then I lose, you two win. And he wins the bet. You so he get gets... Viking Chief, so you pick three first. Yep. Can I have my uh, 20 gold, please, sir? No, you keep it. Oh, you just you keep, just keep, keep your it. gold. Yeah, I, you, don't, you don't get more out of the yeah. bank? No, nope. okay. yeah. you just lose it, but I lose it. So you that. get to pick any two you want, or three you want, and I get two again. Mm. Let's see, you have that. That would give you a set. I'm going to take both artifacts. Mm. I had a feeling you were. And they stay face down. You can look at them any time, mm -hmm. but they stay face uh, down. And just because I don't want you completing your set with me and jewelry. Uh, that's not actually what I was going for. Thanks. Because I'm going to take these He's two. He's going for the battle axe. Oh, you're going for the... Uh... He's going for the commander's, conqueror's horde. Yep. yep. Might as well. Yep. I mean, I could go for other stuff, too. I've got other oh, rounds. Yeah. So, I'm one away from... So I just need an artifact and I can... So let's say you get a conqueror's mm -hmm. horde, but you also get two other jewelries. You mm -hmm. get both of those. Yeah. So it counts as many times as you need. Oh, yeah, that's what I was meaning. So that's kind of how oh, I was planning nope. it. Actually, so the Viking chief sets up You the set them up. So artifacts stay face down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Artifacts face down. And then everything else goes face up. Ooh, crown. Mm -hmm. And then do you get the gold value at the bottom too if you keep if you're yeah, able to keep them? Yeah, whoever okay. so you get the gold value at the end of the game, whoever has the most gold wins. Okay. But it's gold value plus if you whatever got set whatever you set. Have. Okay. Cool. I really don't want to shoot dice there. Yeah. Alright, right, let's see what we got here. And you choose who goes first. Uh, George, why don't you open that bidding up? Mm, I'm going to go three sixes. Minimum bids four? Mm, right? Bids four. Oh, no, no, minimum. No. We said a maximum first oh, round. Oh, maximum first round is four. Uh, That's right. Yeah. So you can go minimum. What are you saying? Three fours? Three sixes. Three sixes. I'm going to say four fives. Four fives. I'm gonna go six ones. Mm. Let's 
six threes. Actually, I'm going to make you increase that bid by one. So you, in, instead of six threes, it's seven threes. So how the it artifact, stays it stays up once. Once you, once you use, it. use it, it stays face up. And it, yeah, there you go. Okay, so, so it's seven threes. I'll go seven fives. Mm. I'm going to steal his bid. Say seven fives, and it starts with you, George. Mm. <clears throat> Playing them early. Mm -hmm. oh, I messed up that one. Um, it was seven fives. Mm -hmm. We'll challenge it. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Well, let me put them in my hands since that so it doesn't look yeah. like I'm ready. Go. Ooh. Oh, DZAM, son. He went 30. Yeah, he went big. Yeah, he did. All right. So reveal your dice. Fives. I've got one. I've got one. Oh, I lost because I have four. Mm. <laughs> I was relying on oh, me then... having four and there being at least. Three between you two. But yeah, I won. Or I lost two. Cause yep. I, yep. I had, so he so wins. All that only goes. he wins. And all my pens go in. Yep. I was trying for the artifact. That's what I was shooting for, so I could have the set. Oh well. <sighs> I will definitely grab these two. And you get three still, so yep. you won, and then the rest get discarded since everybody else lost. Let's say. Hmm. It was hard to go against seven when I had four of them staring at me. I'm like, God, I know I'm like, I, I was like, I'm assuming each one had one, but I was like. Ah. We'll go with that. All right. All right. So, there's so this all goes discard. All right. You see, we're already at round four. Yeah, I know. It's going pretty quick. Yeah. Well, yeah, you guys can shake up if you want. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Oh, oh shit, damn. how many? Okay. Holy shit. Oh, wow. <clears throat> oh, wow. Woo, baby. Oh, baby. Holy mother of God. Mm. That is, who? That's, that's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, it's a little, a little rough. God damn it. <laughs> no, I can't seem to get any kind of coordination going. <sighs> just do it really say, quickly. The gra yeah, gravity won't do it if you shake and flip real quick. Yeah, I do that. I was gonna say you can do it further into the table too. Mm -hmm. you can Whoever has your password. See ya. I think he's afraid of slamming. Still. Mm. Oh. So you pick who goes first. Grim Jin, go. Five threes. Ooh. Well, we were doing four. As a well, max start. He did. Oh, oh yeah. Four so four three. threes. Four threes. All right. Four. Mm. Four fives. Five threes. 
Six ones. Six sixes. Seven ones. Seven ones is on the table. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, seven threes. Mm. What did you do? Seven threes? Mm-hmm. Seven sixes. Eight sixes. <clears throat> Challenge. <clears throat> you said eight sixes? Eight sixes, yep. Same. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. Twenty. Reveal. Zero. I had three sixes. I had two. Oh. <laughs> so between us, you will get Viking Chief because you're the closest one to my left, going clockwise. If we even bet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you get to pick three first. They're all goddamn artifacts. <laughs> well, this gives me a uh, complete set. Ah, nice. So Some artifacts. Put these there. Uh, I get one more, which I'm going to take the egg. Because unfortunately, I have both the rest of those. Yep. And Grimjin is now the Viking chief. So he gets to set up the treasures. No artifacts that actually, <laughs> that, actually <laughs> that tracks pretty well, actually. <laughs> All right, some jewelry. Ooh, they got up in uh, value too. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> uh, some weapons. Ah, there goes the one I need. Ooh, I need some spear. I need a spear, and I've got a full set. And uh, one egg. Yeah. Wish I got that egg. <clears throat> Fuck your eggs. Forget your eggs, son. Wait All a right. minute. Does artifacts can they count as a? Yeah, they count. They still count system. for gold yeah. value at the end. What about a set? Though? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. treasure set. Yeah, it's a treasure set. So you need three art. So well, no, 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 no. Because there's, there's some of them that there's only one That's treasure right. of in the game. So it's yeah. everything else counts for the three or four treasure. Okay. But only the, the only thing artifacts count for is the conqueror's hoard. The treasure Ooh. sets and the partial sets, or the complete sets and the uh, partial sets are only like jewelry or weapons. Yeah. and that stuff. I'm gonna activate. Two artifacts during this step. <clears throat> what are they? 
I get to Moonin. Moonin. During the roll dice step, you may roll one extra die. So I am okay. rolling 11 dice. Mm -hmm. uh, and each dice step, each roll dice step, I get to re-roll up to two dice. Hmm. Okay. Nice. All right. Anybody got anything else they activate? Mm -mm. I can't. So. Yeah. So these, they're one-time use. The one X on there. So they have a red one X. They operate one time, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. These have a green circle. These continuous. are continuous. So as long as they're face up, I get to reuse them. Cool. I was gonna say, just re-roll it and slide it up under there. Mm. There we go. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, you pick who up? It's yeah, first. I know. Um, why don't you bid first? Four threes. I got a die that's stacked. I'm just gonna move it off. Here. Go ahead. Yeah. We'll close our eyes. I was gonna say All I do right. the same thing. I'm gonna go four fives. Five ones. Six fives. No, you can only increase the die. You did. Four no. fives. He can inc he increase oh, the die yeah. and move so it five ones. Five yeah. ones. Okay. I said six fives. Six fives. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go seven ones. Mm, seven sixes. Eight sixes. Hmm. Uh, go nine sixes. Either go well. You have to go ten or something because you can't raise the dice anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nine sixes. Well, that means I declare. Well, I declare. I declare. Mm. All right. Nine sixes is the bet. I have challenged the Viking chief. I'm ready. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I did 16. Woo! I did seven. Nine sixes is the. Ready? Mm -hmm. Show. Okay, so let's. I got one. I got four. All I've right. got two. All right, how many is that? Seven. seven. All right, so I can do two things. Uh-oh. I can do that. When you reveal your dice, you may change one of, your, one of your dice to any side. So that gets me to... Eight. Eight. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this. I get to roll six extra dice. Woo! Nice. You just need one six out of them, too. 
So those four, and since don't need these two, those. So I just need one six out of here. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. I didn't get it. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that could have been really good. That would have been dope. Yep. That would have been a really nice pickup. Mm -hmm. That would. So two for me. The other four go back in the box. Oh, I thought I had that one. Too. Oh, I thought you did too. I was like, oh, yeah, six I extra was, dice. I was like, he's got that. I was right. Yeah, I was right there too. That's a nice combo though. That was. So it's between how much did you? Bet? I had bet ten. Okay, so you become the Viking chief. And you pick three treasures. All right. Uh, so that probably just put me out of the game, actually. Not necessarily, because really, this is his second time winning. This is the only time I... Well, we, no, this is my first beach. time actually winning. The other times I supported, this is the first time I've won even on the bet. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm saying, playing from like, behind most of the time. But, I mean, we've time, got so. three more rounds. So. I'm going to take... Um, or four more rounds still. One, the, the, one of the spears. I'm assuming the five. Yep. And I'm going to take... Crown. I wonder if I should screw you over and take the spear. You could, but you, if but it's it not really it helping you. Well, I've got one spear, that's the thing, so I'm actually yeah. going to go ahead and take the egg then. I was going to say the egg would honestly be your best bet. Because I'm not playing yeah. to screw you, I'm playing it. to win yeah. myself. Yeah, you got to so. get that. That's, that's right, artifacts don't count towards that. They only count towards the Conqueror's War. Yeah, that's yep. the thing about going for artifacts. They're useful, but you're not getting I mean, set bonuses. Yeah. I mean, but if they boost up, you know, they give you better opportunity. To do stuff, yep. Okay. And who's got the... I do. I do. Yep. I'm the Viking Chief. Yeah. I'll set that there. The Viking Chief chooses who goes first. I'll actually go you, George. Mm. Actually, before. One, two. Three, roll two. Yep. Megan Yord. Mm. I'll go. Three, four. Challenge not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go five fours. Mm. Uh, let's see. Making them big leaps. I'll go five sixes. Mm. Six sixes. All right. Seven sixes. Go seven sixes. I'll go eight sixes. Mm. Going eight sixes? Mm -hmm. Nine sixes. You've already rolled your two dice, right? Yep. Yeah, I did my one extra and my re-roll. I have to do it during the dice okay. roll step. We're already at the betting step, so. Okay. So we're at nine? Yep. Nine sixes? Nine sixes. I'll challenge you on that. Ah. Mm. 
Mm. Nine sixes. Nine of your sixes shall all be mine. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna throw a wrench in the plan. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna declare, and that's my bet. Okay. Okay. But 11, would you? I've got 10. 10 in? There's 5 and 5. All right. Reveal. Nine sixes. I got three. I've got four. Seven. I have two. Nine sixes. Oh, Boom. Shit. I get to keep my money. <laughs> more money. More money. More money. More money. A break. Wow. That was uh, some pretty yes. intense betting right there. That was wild. <sighs> All right. So I'm going to go with this. And these, and these. All right, so I get two, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll take this and how many? That. That'll do it. And then, how much did you bet? I bet five. I think I bet seven. So I should become the Viking chief. Damn it, I can't catch a damn break in this. I have Vincent luck right now. I swear it's this <laughs> spot. It's got to be this spot. When Vincent was over here, he couldn't do shit. When he sits over there, he's always winning. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you got to set up the board. Oh. No artifacts? Or Three anything? artifacts. Holy shit. And then dragon egg. Dragon egg. Armor and battle axe. Nice. That's not bad, though. That's not bad at all. Mm -mm. That's a nice spread there. Mm. All right. I will have you go first. Four sixes. Five sixes. Seven fives. Eight fives. Nine sixes. Nine sixes? Nine sixes. Ten sixes. Ooh. Challenge. Is it ten sixes? You bet ten sixes. So I'm the, the declare, correct? Yes. Okay, so ten sixes is the bet. Mm -hmm. I have two. I have two. Lose again. I have one. Ha ha! I Oops. overbid. I, I was thinking I overbid the sixes in the beginning, so people would think I had a lot of them. Yeah. No, I wasn't relying on that. It's just last time I bet against nine sixes, I got right. fucked by Did one. Did I bid higher than you? Yes. Ah, oh, I lost. Oh. We lost, so it's on oh. you. Oh Yays. shit! Yes. Yes. All right. But. When I lose a bet, I 
Yeah. I get to use Dane Slife. What is that? When you lose a bet, you may choose a winning Viking to look through their stash and trade this card for one of theirs. Okay. Let me see what this is. Actually, you know what? Shit. What? No, no, actually. I'll let you keep that. Uh, I'll trade this, actually, for this. Fucking asshole. <clears throat> <laughs> so oh, I was gonna... Shit. I think my pants caught it. I got it. <laughs> you fucking oh. asshole. <laughs> so you took his set away? His conqueror's horde? Yep. But... Uh, it's continuous. <clears throat> right, is, uh, you may choose any winning Viking. Yeah, okay. Yep. Alright, so... I deliberately lost that one to Steel. Seriously? <laughs> yes. No, no, you didn't. No, I did. I deliberately... Why would I go ten sixes? No, I deliberately lost that one so that I could steal from the winners. Because right. both of you have a component that I need. What do I have that you need? Egg. Oh, that's right. I got both of the eggs that you need. Or mm. one of the eggs. Yep. Because the other one's here. Yep. Yeah, you got an egg and the shield. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, yeah. I get two more. Is there any way I can this. scoop like in magic? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm so not going to get three. Yeah. And then the rest goes to. And he's picked one. So oh, you already picked one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to complete a set that way. So I've got to try to go for the, the whole shebang. Yeah. So getting another one of those doesn't really... Actually, any one of these helps get you three towards the parcel sets, because you only need three for those. Each one of yeah. these is different from the ones that you have. So that would at mm -hmm. least get you... Yeah. I'm going to take two artifacts. Didn't, didn't you take an egg? Wasn't there another egg? Oh, I did. So, so you have the egg, the grease, yeah. and then and the then gets one. artifact. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's actually really helpful. Mm. All right. All right. Mm. Oh, and we gotta flip those. Oh yeah. So Mark's got the Viking Chief. Set, yep. Viking Chief's gotta flip them. Ooh. Uh, anybody missing any weapons? Um, actually missing Not one of those. Jewelry. Mm. Missing one of those too. Ooh. All right. Mm. So, yeah. And, uh. You pick who bids first. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Adam, you bid first. Six twos. Top four. Oh, that's right. Four twos. I did too. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, ah. That's why they actually put that in the rules. They're like, somebody keeps jumping way too high too soon. Put a mess. Well, I like the idea of us saying, hey, before the game, this is the... And yeah. the more people you have, the the higher you can kind of go because the fewer dice there is. Or you could go lower, too. Like, if you have yeah. three, you do four. Oh. But, like, after you have, like, three people, you do, like, a max of, like, three. Yeah. If you have uh, any more than three people. So I'm going to go... Four twos. Four twos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go... Five sixes. Mm. I'm going to go six. Six ones. Six 
one. Six tooth. Nice. It's like one of those old plastic, like Viking helmets. Yeah. That's what I should have found. That you need that for Viking Chief. <laughs> yeah, that's what it needs to Pass be. Pass that around. Yeah. Yep. Uh, six sixes. Seven threes. Eight twos. You said it's a minimum of five on each bet? Yeah. Okay. At least five. And what if you don't have five? Uh, then you just bet everything that you have. Mm -hmm. And then if you win, you just get treasure. You just don't get any gold. You keep okay. the gold, but if you lose, even if you have no gold, you can still do this and still win and get treasures. Okay. Right. Gotcha. But the only way you become Viking chief is if you win and... Win uh, the gold bid. Yeah, mm -hmm. nobody else does. Yep, so you okay. basically can't really out win unless you're the only person that wins. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. All right, well... Let me bet. Eleven. Six. I had five. I mean, I had to bet the minimum. Yeah. Because I wanted to go lower, but I was like, oh, <laughs> that's what yeah. I was asking. It was eight twos. I've got one. I've got two. So you're going to lose a fucking yen. I have three. All right. So you win, George. Yes. So I... Hmm. I'm gonna go. Take the artifact, and then I will take. Damn treasure and shits. Uh, I'll take. Actually, shit. Those those things are worth a little bit more. I would just go for the value then if you're looking at it. Yeah. I would just go for whatever's the most cost. Because none of them help you make any sets. No, they So you might as well go for like whatever the Actually, high. this will get me closer to a set though. To another? Oh, a pairing? Yeah. Gotcha. Because basically. Gotcha. So if I get one of these, mm -hmm. I get another set. Mm -hmm. And actually it'll count. So let's say if I get one battle axe. I've got two partials, partials, but this will make them both fulls. It doesn't make them both. It wouldn't make them both fulls. I think. It'd make one full and one partial. Well, yeah, I think. maybe. I think that's what you would get out of it. And see. then these get discarded. Or maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay, so that's what. 
So it can, like, you can have a full with this and then a partial over here with this. Yeah, so you can use this one for uh, for one to of these this. to have a Conqueror's Hoard and then a set, but yeah. you can't use them for two different sets. Like, yeah. See, with this, there you have to have two sets. So you would have so, one partial and yeah. one full set of weapons. Yeah, one partial, one full, and then they would still count towards, towards the. Uh, yep. All right, can I uh, can I change these out? I want fives instead of ten. Yep. Well, actually, it'll be. You are the the banker. So, how many so five, how many did you, you get? Six to? five thirty. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Mm. And then, don't forget to divvy the treasures out there, Georgie. This is the final round. Yep. Last round. Round nine. Oh. Any, yep. One artifact. No, it doesn't really matter because ah, there goes the sword I need. Oh shit! Big old clutch of eggs up in there. One third one more another. Here's the thing, I could if I win, I have a way of doing two different sets and you can take any one of them from me because you still have that dagger. Only it's, during a losing bet. Yeah, only when I lose. Only when you lose, okay. Yeah. You can only do it during a Gotcha. Alright, so But I'm saying if he loses and I win, he could take one of the sets to start, from me. So. I'm gonna use yeah. this artifact. Uh play any time during bidding step. All other Vikings must reveal their highest die and their lowest die. Ooh. So I've got which is one a of, highest die? Yeah, mm. a highest and a lowest. I have one one and one six. Uh, my highest is a. F it's just a die. So yeah. my highest is a five. My lowest is a three. <laughs> All right. So uh, your chief. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start out. So I'm going to go... Three... Fours. Six threes. Oof, you jumped way hard. Six threes. I'm going to go... Six fives. Go You said six fives? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go seven threes. I'll go eight threes. Is there any point to ending as Viking Chief? Do you get extra points no. for it? No. So the bidding right here is redundant. There's no... Well, no, for well, the last row of treasure, and then we're done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. View. Go ahead. Twenty. Twenty-three. 
Damn. Look at you. Yes. I had better everything I had because I only had four. Yeah, that's so it. I couldn't do any more. So it was, what was it again? Eight threes? Eight threes. Mm -hmm. Eight threes. All right, reveal. I have five threes. Holy shit. I wasn't counting on that. How many do you have? Three. Yeah, that's it. Yep. I have, yep. Win. <sighs> oh, but I'm the loser. Yes. So you can take one of our things. Yeah. Uh, what? Is there anything that breaks a set? Yeah, you can choose anything from mine Either. or from his. Okay. Well, I think you've got more parts on the board as, than him. So I'm not as concerned. Well, yeah, and he can actually really... Yeah. I, I have a shot at making maybe two sets oh. at that. But... Do I get to look at your artifacts? No. You did a not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yes, you get to look at them. Well, I know I look. <laughs> I don't even have a shot at making a set, I don't think, right now. Wow, you should have used that right there. Um, yeah, it could have helped out, but it really, like, I was in a good position with my bets and everything, so I didn't really need to use it. What was it? Just increase your bet by... I nah. mean, it doesn't matter at this yeah. point. Cause, I mean, so, during the bidding step, I mean, choose to pass instead of making a dice bid. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take... Uh, well, shit, that's actually worth it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take this one. Slut! You slut! Because it, it still works even when you lose. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so you take your so, three. Yes, I get three. Oh. Well, we know that's one of them. Yeah, actually, it's going to be one, two, I had a feeling you were going to do that. And in three. Room. All right, so I guess I'll take the artifact and the egg. Yep. That, so that at least and... gives me something, but not a lot. Yep. And then I get the crown. Because the crown Flipper. completes the set. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. There yep. Because this is... Yeah, the ring he took lets him choose an item from what's left mm -hmm. at the end of the device. Okay. Boils. All right. And I get to copy an item with this artifact. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I actually get well, to actually, do that. Actually, I, I get to make it something, so I'm going to yeah. make it that. And I'm going to do the same ah, thing with that, and I'm going to make this uh, an egg, and it still does count as an artifact. Yep. Yeah, we both have the same thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so that gives me... So choose a non-artifact item such as a pendant. For the rest of the game, it counts as that item. It also st still counts as an artifact. Yeah, so... so this is a shield. Yeah. Okay, And I'm going to say this is the uh, purple egg. There you go. <clears throat> I don't know what the name of it is. Storm egg? All right, yeah. so Storm I'm going to need, egg. like, a piece of paper now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this in my head. Thank well, you. mine's going to be... Pencil something. That's what yeah. I've got. We're in a D&D &D basement, baby. All right, thank you, sir. Hmm? All right, so... We're writing on the cardboard? So it's 12. Yeah, I don't have a shot at this. I don't have enough sets. I don't have enough of anything. Eight. That actually worked out decently Six. for me. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Fine. I lost that bet, so this 20 goes away. Oh, yeah. yeah. That sucks. Okay, so I had so two I get... partial sets. Okay, so partial and... sets are... Here it goes. Six. Yeah. Yep. Partial set six, full sets 12. Yep. So, I get... I, I'm pretty sure George six. crushed us at this point. Mm-hmm. Well... Six, twelve. I've got my total. Two. 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 I couldn't get an artifact until the very end of the damn game. Yeah. And I had a feeling you were like, oh, I could really screw him over, but you're like looking at where you can go more points, not yeah. keep me from getting anything. Yeah, I was looking at boosting myself. Mm-hmm. So... 
And that was a thing. Like, I, I had... I w that's the thing. I was figuring you might go for the artifact or the eggs, but... Yeah. I was hoping I would get, like, some At that set. point, I was like, the artifact really isn't worth it. So I was like, mm -hmm. meh. Well, at the end... Of, well, I mean, it almost could have been, because you could have had... Used that as a weapon that you needed, but you didn't know what was there. So yeah. you were running that risk. Yep. So I only got one full conqueror, which was eight. Because I didn't have enough armor pieces. Yep. And then... So those are your partials... Well, these are all my partials and fulls. So these are partials. Don't get a partial yeah. on that. Partial you get on... On the three of a kinds. You don't get a partial on the Conqueror set. No, you don't. On the... Yeah. Yeah, no, there's no partial on that. I was just saying... So you're just organizing them? Yeah. Because you, you got a partial here. Uh, you got a full here. You have yeah. a full and a partial here. Yeah. And then the armor you don't have anything on. And the artifacts don't matter because you only have one Conqueror set. Yeah. So you have, so you have 12, 4. I've got them all written down. Oh, okay. I yeah. don't know if you did, done, did your now, math. Now I just got to do the individual items, which I is. Got 89. Well, I lost. That's the damn shirt. 89. 56. You counted the gold off the individual cards and everything? Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I did. Uh, but I didn't add my gold, leftover gold. Yeah. So it's 22 more. I already. I still think George won. He had way well, more he's got like yeah, he's got. Uh, I don't even know how much. Twenty four. One hundred and one points. George. Well, George still has most of his gold too. So. Yeah. He uh, was in a lot of hands at the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna Just these back. alone gets me seventy five. Plus 55, plus 6, plus 12, plus 6. Well, if you plus had 75 12. plus 55, you beat him. Because he has 174. Yeah. Ah, I am the Viking. Chief Viking wow. King. I don't, I don't know what they, they have. Vikings. Kings. No, it's Jarl's thing. Yeah. Jarl's are. There are, there are kings, but mostly just. I am the Viking Dope Man. I mean. That was Started fun, off though. good, but I liked it though. It was I, it, fun. This was a, this was, yeah, this was a definitely a fun game. Yeah. I would play it again. You know, All hard right. Game. So what were the finals? I'm gonna write. Fifty six. I did. I won too early in the last hand. That was it. I had one seventy five. And you had what? One hundred one. One hundred one. Yeah, those beds are important. Yeah. Well, yeah. also well, with more people, you want you want to kind of like figure an average, like okay, on an average roll, that's what how I many have one what I number? Was... I, that's why I was at the end when you said you ha I have five threes or whatever it was. I was like, no, there's no way. <laughs> but the only thing was the thing. The reason why I was actually okay with that was when you said that uh, he uh, when you made us tell us what our high and low was. I had one and a six. You're like, okay, mine could be anything. When he said his was a two, a three and a five, yeah. I'm like, okay, any sixes are between you and me, and any ones are between you and me. Everything else is on him. So yeah. I was gauging he has 11 die. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, okay, if you split that into thirds, that's almost four per, mm -hmm. give or take. So that's kind of how I was doing the math in my head. So it's like, okay, he's got at least like four threes or four fours or four fives. Yeah. At least he's always got like... Four and any vary those and three of whatever's left. Yeah, and since I, he went high on threes, I'm like, okay, that's the one he probably has four or three of. I, I uh, <clears throat> held on to that artifact for a while because I didn't think it was that useful, but it actually was a lot, a lot more useful than that because the one you like, stole, yeah, no, the, the the tankard one. Oh, the tell yeah. the reveal the highest and lowest. Yep. Because like like you said, you can kind of give yeah. yourself. If so many, if we that's... both said one and a six, and you're like, well, shit, that doesn't help. But in his case, since he had a three and a five. I had no reason to bet anything on twos and ones because I'm like, okay, it's between you and me. Mm. And if you gauge the average of maybe three per, I'm like, we're already past five. So I was like, I'm not betting ones and twos because he's going to challenge because he doesn't have any. So mm. that's why I stayed with the threes and the fives. Yeah. And just stayed kind of in that range. Yeah. yeah. 
That's why as soon as you said that, I was like, I got this. Because he bet on the threes, and then I was like, oh, I got five threes. I'm, mm -hmm. I was like, yep, I can do that one. So, yeah, when it came to it, uh, I will say the fact that you have to ch that you have to challenge makes this a lot more difficult too. Yeah. Because normally you can say I think that's right. Yeah. And Somebody then, has to basically say you're wrong. That's, yeah. But I mean that's good because then it's not a oh well everybody's right so everybody gets something It's like no there's always at least one loser. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if you say, like, I mean, that's kind of the thing. If you, like, say, like, oh, I think that's right, you know, then technically you would have one declare, either the, but that's the thing, you know. Yeah, you wouldn't be challenging, yeah. so there's not so really, the challenge, well, the there's challenge, not really sides to take. Well, that's what I was saying. The challenge would be pointless as a term yeah. because you're declaring that they're right, so that means, okay, they're ch you're the one who declared is now challenged. That doesn't make any sense. So yeah. the fact that they use those terms, it makes sense that they split it that way. So you haven't uh, looked over this one at all, obviously. No.